What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Kicker Scuba and Marina. And if you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Make sure you click this little subscribe button over here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys will be notified every time we upload new content. Now I've got a brand new aluminum 40 here that I'm actually setting up for a customer. And I want to kind of walk you through the process of how you set up, say, a stage cylinder or a pony bottle or some type of redundant air source. Now there's many different ways to do it, whether you decide you want to sling it, put it on your back, actually side mount it versus slinging it. There's many different ways to do it. All we're going to be using today is just a standard stage kit. This is from XS Scuba here and we're going to get it set up for his specific height. Now the customer in question is about the same height as me so I'm going to be using my measurements to measure him. Now ideally you want to use your measurements if you're setting it up for you or if you're setting it up for another customer of course you want to measure them to make sure you get the right height and right measurement for the strap. Since this customers are roughly the same size as me we're just simply going to be using my measurements. With that being said, let's jump into today's video and I'll show you just how easy it is to set up a pony bottle or a stage system for you. First thing I like to do is just kind of lay everything out, make sure I've got everything I need, such as a tank, a stage kit. I even like these extra elastic bands here. Just gives a little bit of extra cosmetics. It also helps uh, label my tank or a student's tank as well. Then of course what I want to do is get everything out of the packaging, make sure I've got everything I need, make sure I have all the tools that I need, and a very important tool of course is the tape measure as well. Now the next thing I want to do is go ahead and get my gear on, make sure the D-rings are where they need to be, and I like to place my pony on the left side. So I'm going to hook my tape measure on the top D-ring, I'm going to measure down to the hip D-ring, and I'm just going to kind of hold my finger there in place and see where it's at and kind of make note of how many inches I need for my webbing strap. Now the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and measure out the webbing and I can get it adjusted uh, based off what my measurements are. Like I said, this is going to be for a customer. We're roughly the same size, so I'm just going to be using my measurements for his. Um, one of the things about adjusting these out is you don't want a lot of extra flop in the strap. You, the carry handle itself doesn't need to be loose because that can create an entanglement hazard. You just need it loose enough to get your hand in so that you can carry it. And properly spacing out the bolt snaps is going to be important as well. Now one of the things that I'll do here is once I get it adjusted where I need to be, I'll make sure that once it's attached to the tank, when I apply my tank band to it, that I'm going to have enough room for my hand even in cold water um, so that I can reach down with thick gloves and still remove the bottle if need be. Now the next thing I want to do of course is go ahead and prep the bottle and I'm going to start with this elastic rubber band. This is nothing more than a hose retainer. Uh, this is what holds your regulator hose up against the bottle. As far as height goes at this point in time it doesn't really matter how high you put the band because you're going to adjust it once you attach your regulator to the tank itself. But once I've got it on I'm going to go ahead and put another little cosmetic band on. You don't have to have this. This can double as a dual band if you need it. Uh, I just kind of like putting it on customers tanks just because it, it adds a little bit of cosmetic flair to it. But once I've got it positioned, I'm going to go ahead and take my stage kit and sling it over. And basically this is just a choker strap that goes up over the top of the tank. And then I can position the strap as I'm attaching my uh, hose clamp or my tank clamp down around the bottom. Now positioning of this strap is important when you're wearing the bottle as well. Now the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and get my hose clamp. Basically that's all this is, is a stainless steel hose clamp. Some people call them tank clamps. I'm going to go ahead and slide it up from the bottom. It tends to make it a little bit easier. I don't have to slide it over everything that I've already put there on the cylinder. And I'm just going to get the height just right. I've already got my strap at the right height where I need it as far as what's going to be clipped off to the BCD rings. But I just want to get the strap just right. And this is where I can kind of play with and see how much hand space I need. If, say, I'm diving in colder water, I'm going to be using thicker gloves things like that and I just want to position that uh, little mechanism there right where I need it. Now I'm going to go ahead and tighten the band down and I'm just going to go slow with this make sure everything kind of stays in place. I do have the tank kind of anchored down in one spot so it won't roll around on me uh, but I want to make sure that I hide the excess part of the band coming up through that little sleeve that way there's no snag hazards or entanglement hazards or anything like that especially if you're diving with a dry suit you don't want that metal band coming out and poking into your dry suit because of where I got it positioned. Now you can slide this band on around if you'd like and you can put that uh, mechanism that little clamp there wherever you want it 
but for me I tend to want everything there close to me so just to prevent it from snagging on my dry suit or cutting into my wetsuit or anything like that I'm just going to make sure it's hid well um, this is actually some sh heat shrink tubing that's put around this piece uh, but you're not going to be melting it down in any way just go ahead and make sure it's nice and secure and make sure it doesn't move now that I've got the tank actually set up, I'm going to go ahead and attach a regulator to it. Uh, whether you use DIN or yolk is going to be completely up to you, um, depending on if you're going to be in overhead environments or if you don't really have that space under your arm, I would suggest using DIN, but for the application of this tank and for what the customer wants, the yolk is going to work just fine. Now one thing that I'm going to do prior to pushing the band down through that, I will go ahead and charge the line. A lot of times we get our hoses nice and neatly packed in and then as soon as we charge them they kind of uh, go all to pieces so I am going to go ahead and charge the line that way there's just pressure in behind it and then I can position the hose where it needs to be now one of the things I personally like to do is make sure that it's positioned to where it's in between the cylinder and my body itself uh, that way there's no entanglement I don't have a hose kind of hanging out when I'm diving and this is where I can really adjust the height too of that rubber retaining band um, just so that uh, I don't have a big loop there at the bottom hanging out but once everything's good to go we'll get it put on and test it now the last thing I want to do is just attach it to the BC I'm gonna start with the top D ring there I'm gonna swing it around go ahead and connect it to the uh, bottom D ring and just kind of see where it holds in place as you can see I've got plenty of room for my hand the hose the regulator everything is protected it's right up against me it's not on the front of the bottle or anything like that I also have the bottle positioned where I can reach the valve if I need to so if this was a stage cylinder originally I would open the valve and of course turn it back off leaving the line charged uh, typically on a pony I just turn them on and leave them on but if this was a stage bottle I'd be setting it up in the exact same manner and of course with this particular reg I've got the perfect hose length and of course with my customer being the same size as me it's going to work great for him as well. So there you go guys as you can see it's a very very simple process it takes just a little bit of time get you a tape measure measure it out get it where it needs to be and then take it out there and go dive it because you want to make sure that everything is lined up where it needs to be if you don't like how the bottle hangs then of course you can put a stage strap around it or some type of bungee strap very similar to what we do when we go side mount diving and that'll help pull that bottle up as well but guys i really hope you enjoyed today's video if you did give me a big thumbs up and definitely share it as well as always make sure you follow us on instagram and twitter like us on facebook pin us on pinterest subscribe to us here on youtube and as always guys we appreciate your business.